Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Fedora 6 demo. I'm David Wilcox, the program leader for Fedora at Lyricis, and I'm joined here by Peter Winkles from the University of Wisconsin-Madison, uh, who's also a Fedora committer. We just wrapped up our fourth sprint of the year with five participants, and the focus of that sprint was on implementing simple search and web access controls, and also updating the migration utility to produce Fedora 6 compliant OCFL objects. So in this video, we're gonna demonstrate this new migration utility, and I'll turn it over to Peter to walk through the demo. Thanks, David. Yeah, so as David said, we just finished up the sprint that included the new update to the migration utilities to produce Fedora 6 um, style OCFL objects, which are just OCFL objects that have some additional metadata that Fedora 6 expects. Um, so for this demo, um, we're going to use a handful of objects from UW Madison's um, Fedora, Fedora 3 repository. And we're going to migrate them to the Fedora 6 format and then start a development build of Fedora 6 on top of the migrated objects. So first, this is our input data set here, which you might, which might look familiar if you've ever poked them around in the Fedora 3 um, data store. And so that's our input set. And we will now run the migration tool on that data set. And I'm just going to restrict it to only migrate 10 objects for demonstration purposes. So that's running. I'm just going to take a second here. OK, so now that that's finished, we have this F6 migrated directory that includes the OCFL repository that has all of the migrated um, Fedora 6 objects. So you can drill down in this and have a look at um, migrated objects. So this is one of the OCFL objects. And you can see that when the migration utilities run, they actually replay all of the versions that were in your Fedora 3 repository, which is why they're are eight versions here. And if you open up one of the version directories, um, you'll see that um, there's this FC repo directory. So this is the directory that contains the Fedora 6 um, metadata, which is just really a, a collection of JSON files that describe um, the binaries that are, or the files really in general that are part of the object. Uh, okay, so now that we have our migrated objects, we can start up Fedora 6. And you can go to the rest of the endpoint. And here we see the 10 objects that were migrated, and you can click around to inspect them. So look at this. You can open up the resource. And here we have one of the images. Um, let's look at another one that will update here in a minute. Okay, so this this object, this particular object, uh, includes all these um, binaries, and one of them is a text file, which is called text zero. So if we open up that file, we can see its contents. Um, additionally, before we update the object, let's take a look. This is the OCFL object that has eight versions. So this command is going to change the text. So let's load it again. Now we see it just says updated. Now if we look at the OCFL object again, you can see that it created a ninth version that just contains the, the update to the text. Um, so, yep, that's basic interaction um, with Fedora 6 on top of Fedora 3 migrated objects. If you, for whatever reason, are not interested in migrating your Fedora 3 objects to Fedora 6, but would still like um, to generate OCFL, the migration utils support that. And the basic structure of the objects is identical to the Fedora 6 OCFL. The only difference is that the .fc repo directory is not included. 
Yep, so that's about it. Back, back to you, David. Great, thanks, Peter. Uh, so this concludes the demo, but you can look forward to more demos in the future as we complete Fedora 6 features. You can join our mailing list to receive updates, uh, sign up for any of our upcoming sprints if you'd like to participate in developing, testing, or documenting Fedora 6. And you can find links to the appropriate resources in the video description. Thanks.